Hello. So I was just like, what the fuck? I'm stupid. What's going on, boy? <laughs> Like I just like tap okay, back so I got up to go okay, the Discord to see Soko like angrily <laughs> smash his fucking chair or some okay. shit. It's like what the fuck was that? Okay, I went to okay, so I was going to get a drink. So I was like, okay, I know I'm gonna I'm gonna need one for dungeon discourse. It's a lot of talking. I'll probably get mm -hmm, parched mm -hmm. a little bit. I go to get my drink. I realize I have to pee. I go pee, and now our downstairs we had to rip out the wood flooring in the in the uh, like family yeah. room area because we had a pipe first or whatever so you know that's been my off time anyways <laughs> um so I like carefully walk over to the bathroom you know, do my thing forget I, got, I was gonna get a fucking drink get back over here sit down realize I forgot my drink so I fucking just got pissed punched my chair and went and got my drink real quick do you have anger issues when no so. absolutely not I don't have anger issues as long as things don't anger me yeah right okay got it well, I haven't gotten to punch my desk at New World yet. Cause I just dude, New World it, is so, actually yeah. a bop, you know, if you get to play. Um, yeah, dude, I mean, all these logging fucking errors are getting me up true. in the queue, so, you know. That's actually probably one of the most glowing recommendations for the game I've heard. It doesn't make Soko angry. That is that true. That does say a lot. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> all right. We haven't done some hard... Welcome we haven't done, like, hardcore PvP yet, though. to Dungeon so. yeah. Discourse. Today we have, uh, you know, Soko after him being gone for a little bit. I'm here. We after have Laura. Like a month and huh? a half or something. Was it three weeks? I think it's been a month and a half because I was on the first episode of Dungeon Discourse and then haven't been on since. There you go. Oh, oh Dungeon Discourse. Yeah, I, I yeah, yeah. So today uh, we're going to talk about the campaign so far. We're going to talk about your guys' experience in the campaign so far. Bring up the character development a bit, bring up the party dynamic, and Soko still has to do his trivia qu uh, qu uh, quiz, so we're gonna do that. You know, we can um, really just not. But first things first, I'm the realist. Um, I, we're going to start off with a recap. For those that missed it, uh, the VOD is on YouTube, by the way, so uh, go check it out if you haven't already. It's up to YouTube, we're 13 away from 100 subs on YouTube, guys. It's pretty pog. You do. Last session Pro sub. was uh, a travel session where the party was successful in besting the threat at Sekta, a Hydra, and uh, Rixal, the uh, Yuanti leader of, of the resistance, of the war effort, so to say, um, defeated him, them, traveled back, and uh, the, the Sirin decided to stick around with you guys and tra is traveling with you to Aldilon, uh, you made your way to New Daramuth and had some fun, some drinks, some live music, some dancing, some 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 more exposition on some of the characters uh, and whatnot. Uh, Jax did some did drop some juicy backstory when the dancing was going on. Um, A little bit. Yeah. So first things first. I would like for you both to kind of just, you know, what's your so far? We're seven sessions in. What are your what are your thoughts on the campaign so far, like as a whole? Um, I've been here for yeah three episodes. <laughs> or four, four, I think. Yeah, four episodes. Um, I mean, D and D's great. I love the party. I wish I wish I could be here more, <laughs> genuinely, because I feel like I get to miss out on so much fun yeah. shit. And especially because Jax is so... Yeah. Jax quirky. is very... Um, <laughs> he's animated. Do you know what I mean? It's, he's an animated yes. character. He's very, he's very typical <laughs> old man. Which I find a lot of fun to play. Um, he, reminds me kinda... of, he reminds me of like a, a less inappropriate, slightly more socially aware version of CW from Mythic Quest, who's like the oh old writer from the show. Yeah, that's you here. A little bit, a little bit. He's just like my like conspiracy theory brain side <laughs> yeah. of me. You don't say. You know, he's like, oh, gods don't exist. You know, you know, and um, you know, obviously, I've definitely got some like. He's like he's he's my just like nerd in it coming out because like uh, you know it, as a wizard it, it, i guess you could play a wizard that doesn't believe in gods but i feel like it's a little harder it's possible because you're just more in tune with magic whereas like Jax, he just like he kind of uses it to, to just like breach certain mm -hmm. like things but tries to just focus on technology right okay yeah 
so like gods he just uses like people using science to, to trick mm -hmm. people right mm -hmm. so I, I don't know if we'll ever see a god or you know or if he'll ever see one because if he doesn't see it he's not gonna believe it um is Soko, is Soko's cam lagging so that would always be sure, an interesting though, interaction it looks fine to me too it looks fine to me but yeah it looks uh it's different. a little it's a little laggy. that's just discord. discord it's fucking discord for you there's not much i, you can say, do about yeah, it. I don't think that's anything i can do about it um but yeah but like as 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 a whole um, right so especially yeah. like if you compare it to uh um, campaign one yeah. like the first couple of months like what, what a, are your immediate what are your immediate so like, start thoughts it's a smoother it's weird start because yeah it's weird because it's, it's a smoother start and like but i also feel like that's because we haven't really like dove deep into anyone yet they're kind of like well we're working together right now because we've been thrown together and it's convenient and i'm just so excited for when the first moment of tension is going to come when we actually want to go do different things because like we kind of had that moment where at the end of last episode because like davian mentioned like showed us the tier and like wanting to do things but then dagon managed to okay, like using the to map us. and stuff be like no i have at least her personally although it's her and Cass, like we have a thing we need to do here first and like Davian seemed to be like, okay, we can maybe do that and the thing. But I'm, eventually, there's gonna be times where I'm, we're we're gonna start this, this whole thrown together by convenience isn't gonna mm -hmm. work forever. So I'm waiting for that moment and to see then how, what what bonds change or how party growth changes okay. after that point. See, that's why I'm also excited. Cause I I I tried to make a character that was like a little more nonchalant about things. Because I feel like my characters have... Well, I, I just have a strong personality in general, no. right? So it's hard to make a character that Not doesn't that's have all, strong my opinions friend. about things. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's kind, of, it's kind of different to just walk outside and be like, sure, I'll tag along, you know? Like, I don't need real, a real reason. Like, y'all are all right. You know, yeah. Brooks is a drinker. Davian <laughs> hates me. <laughs> Daigon doesn't talk, which is kind of cool. cool. You know, I'm the like, easiest a lot to of... be around because I don't make you feel the need to like talk or just make conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's, it's like there, that comfortable silence, you know. Yeah. Um, oh, dude, the conversations I want to have with Daigon, but she obviously <laughs> can't talk back. Um, <laughs> I mean, or at least no in Jax's so mind, I... she can't talk back or won't. <laughs> he doesn't know whether it's a can't or a won't, but just doesn't yeah. really, you know, distinguish mm -hmm. between them. Mm -hmm. Um, because it all you know, they're both giving the same result, right? Um, mm -hmm. but yeah, the campaign's a smoother start. I feel like it's also we're just more confident role players. Yeah, for sure. As well. Um, and put a lot more thought. Like at least, at least I can speak for me personally. I put a lot more thought into personality quirks instead of like last time, like with no wrong. Mm -hmm. Let's say. I kind of let his character just develop on how the party was. Like I gave like myself some baselines and then just yep. moved from there. But this one, I had like more predetermined ideas and kind of just hoped that the party would clash a little bit with them, which they have yeah. with the ones I've figured they would. I also think a lot of us <laughs> have crafted our characters in this one and given them while still just as developed and strong in like stories, they have a bit more flexibility. Like one of my, I think like the biggest weaknesses of like Kisera, the first one I said was her her whole like driving force thing she was doing, like finding my daughter was a bit like it was sometimes very hard to be like, why is she not just up and left them? And I think I probably made some slightly disingenuous choices because it wouldn't make sense. And just like I'm I need to go off and do this thing. And like then Trim almost did it to had a moment where she the first time she yelled and lost it was like, I'm done doing what you want to do. I almost died. We're gonna go do my thing now, and you're either coming or not. And a lot of us have made characters that while we still have motivations, we have ambitions, we have things that we're working towards. It seems like a lot of us have done it in a way that it's very open. There's no like and the rush. questions we're looking there. for answers to or the things we're looking for. We don't have a specific place to There's get no it time from. There's time-sensitive issues. But we can like, yeah. Well, like like Daigon's so cool. whole thing is looking for answers, <laughs> but she doesn't know where the answers are going to be found. So I can just go anywhere. Excuse me. So Sorry. it's fine. <clears throat> Dude, I'm just waiting for someone in the party to fuck up, get us arrested <laughs> or something, and shit kicks off from there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like I, I, because with the party that we have, and like the as Jack sees our morals, because you know, Jack sees as okay, Davians and Lazarin are like kind of like good leaning. You know, they're looking out for the good of the people. You know, oh, let's go kill his Hydra for other people. Jack's kind of like, 
I'm kind of only in it for the bounty there. That the uh, uh oh, fuck, what's her face? This is the problem with not playing every week. I don't remember the, the lady, names. the the lady yeah. who we originally started for started. <laughs> yeah, the city, the, the city. No, no, no oh, not, not Sarin. Tran Tranliel. That Tranliel, there you go. No, yeah. Watch that be a trivia question later. I'm not just giving you the. It could have been, dude. I, <laughs> who knows? Um, but like, it, it, he knows that somewhere along the way, especially because we got. A, horse in a cart and no one besides Kess and Dagen know how exactly we got it. He knows that we either owe a debt somewhere or someone's looking for us to fucking find that horse and cart and they're gonna fuck us up. <laughs> and um, that could be problematic. Yeah? How so? Why would that? Why would that? Well, he, you know, he sees it as like a potential problem for okay. them. And he's like, well, you know, worst comes to worst, I throw them under the bus and leave, right? Uh, Okay. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and you mentioned getting like the party getting arrested. There's so many things. It's like the party could be like about to be murdered by some terrifying monster or whatever, and like Daigon will help out and risk her life at this point. But the minute the party gets involved the law, she's like, I'm gone, I'm not touching it, I'm not going near you, you're all fucked, you're on your own. So like one fat middle middle aged overweight town guard was more scary to her than half of the monsters that we may encounter because of her <laughs> history. See, that's really interesting. Especially yeah. how much you've been working with the guards up yeah. until now. Like, that's that's interesting. I mean, getting in getting in the guards good graces is, is, is if anything, a, a, something exactly. Daigon wants yeah. because I, that means Jackson's that, there's really less, like that either, she's less but... likely to be fucked over or whatever. I'll have, especially because I literally can't speak for myself, and there's a, I need my actions to speak for me, uh, in in that's, most things that I do. That's fair, so. yeah. Dude, we should get Diagon a whiteboard <laughs> to write on. Well, I asked last session <laughs> to request help me find a bookstore because what I want to do is buy a journal because Diagon felt real left out when the group were doing our share story time. Only felt a bit better because it's like, well, Jax isn't too chatty right now, given there were <laughs> reasons not RP related why that was happening, but it still kind of helped. But basically, yeah. it's like, well, I can't talk. And what she wants to do is get a journal and over a few like nights or weeks, write out a lot of it, but like organize it by question. So like page one, it's like, where are you from? And it's a short answer of where I'm from. And then like, what happened to oh your neck? Oh my god, we're like, gonna get questionnaires. Yeah, a lot of the common <laughs> things, so I can just take my book and open it, or like give it to you and point to this page or whatever, and I have a way, just for the things that I know are gonna come up, or the things I want to share, yeah. and that way I can do it. So that's the whole, why she wants to find a bookstore, is to buy a journal. All right, <clears throat> and like yeah, as a, I think the setting, like comparing the setting of this campaign so far and then the initial like story arc that you're on uh the, what are you like how do you how have you experienced that so far like com uh, comparing it to the last one but also just in general like as a story arc as a whole i like how there's more potential political leaning mm -hmm. and that we could play wherever we want like if we had decided to decide with the one t against the town you know that's potential you know, for that. Dude, imagine if we had. We'd be like, you know what? Uh, Fuck Eldalon. Let's help them out. Let's go destroy the city. Fuck these mm -hmm. colonial. That bastards. would be that would I mean, be wild. A lot of, a lot of like, stuff would have, have to go on your way, <laughs> rules wise. But yeah, that's a, yeah. I mean, shit. Oh. Yeah, shit. I mean, <laughs> that's the thing though. Is like a, a couple rules here and there, and we end up in a completely yep. different situation. And we could be on the outs of the towns, in which case we're having to like sneak in, buy shit real quick, and dip out. You know. By everyone ahead of his Um <laughs> Yeah. I mean, well, I have this guy's self. So I'm not really worried about that. Yeah, I think my little. Did I what use that I one? try to do as as a DM, like last time I we started a campaign was like my first time really doing this, and it was very standard. Yeah. Fetch questy type of thing. Yeah. Yeah, because it was a chrome. And now was I've first. kind of just thrown you in this new setting new world literally um <laughs> where only like a fraction of it is explored and mapped out and and like settled by colonists like over 90 percent of the fucking continent is uncharted Pfft, fuck knows what's out there uh, even i don't know <laughs> so 
<laughs> there's that there's a lot until we have to go there you don't have to make it in, uh, you know if you want to buy a plot of land somewhere guys uh, do it now because there's a lot of unclaimed territory no um and i wanted this 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 storyline to be a little less standard and i found that last campaign there was a lack of political intrigue and then that's why i was like okay like settlers versus natives uh that could cause for a lot of like political like ooh, ooh, this is weird oh how do we do this without pissing everybody off uh and also um at the same time where whereas like you want are the enemy and then you know introduce some you want that aren't the enemy that are good and that are working together and coexisting with um uh so i try to really Ta tackle it differently compared to campaign one and i hope i've succeeded in making it a fresh like new experience for all of you and and interesting and 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 all that stuff mm -hmm. i mean i'm super excited to explore Hell it all, dude. honestly and like part of like mm -hmm. the soko part of me wants to um kind of purposely piss off the empire and just kind of see what happens <laughs> um <laughs> you know what i mean like it's Does just the like soko that part oh, what remember if we do that this? the empress is yeah. a fucking dragon Okay. <laughs> yeah. But that that's yeah, that's what makes it fun. Because I know there's a lot of danger involved with it. And I know how powerful the Empire is. You know? So it'd like it'd be a fun challenge. Well, good thing we don't metagame in the Soko part of who doesn't know what Jax does, because holy fuck. <laughs> that's a recipe yeah, no, for disaster. No, no. I mean Jax has no reason <laughs> that's to That's a recipe for disaster right there. You know. Panic. I mean, episode nine or ten of campaign one, he just at like level two said fuck you to the bbg uh, episode this is eight this, this actually campaign's equivalent is saying episode eight because i died the same episode eight, whatever i took out half his hit points in one hit good times Let's show how broken yeah. fucking sages are dude <laughs> yeah at level two <laughs> you mystic, mystic, dude. someone called sage with um, mystics right yeah <laughs> fuck him fuck him yeah. honestly fuck him fuck never him. again allowing mystics in anything i do i mean mystics gone off of dmv along completely because even they are like, this you is have to go shift through pretty far to find it. Um, <clears throat> I, I do love the idea. I have idea a question for y'all. Yeah. What do you think about the character development so far? Like, if you compare it to like session one to now, like it's very, it's a very short window. Have you noticed like any like developments in in the characters that you guys, you know, you guys play, or the rest of the party yet? And if so. Uh, if so, you know, where and what exactly? Okay, so, well, okay, the first thing I would say, because this one's, like, kind of mm -hmm. big to Jax, at least, is, like, uh, Davian. Because, mm -hmm. like, when they first yeah. met, Davian just seemed kind of like a by-the-book, you know, goody two-shoes guy, you know, just typical, you know, follows the law, does the good mm -hmm. things. Yeah. you know tries his hardest but now he's like oh yeah so i've been hiding yeah. this thing that like you know i got this like tear from this elemental god mm -hmm. being and um you know i want to find the other ones and see what happens and like Jax <laughs> is for it right like curiosity and all that let's fucking follow it and see what, where it leads um especially because it lights him on fire dude that's yeah wild it'd be um but like davian has just changed in his mind like to this oh you're not so uptight and you know mm -hmm. cookie cutter you've been hiding this and i i didn't even see it how <laughs> could i not see it you know i'm supposed to be the smart one in the group yeah i like da davian's the party member that daigon's the most like confused or kind of like doesn't know how to feel about because some <clears throat> in many ways he seems like he he's well, when they first met, he was always just like, big fucking cat! Like, looked at me <laughs> and, and just was like, the most kind of, just like, what the fuck are you? And like, as in seeing less than, less than people. But he's the one who's been the most, like, he was the most concerned and most inquisitive about the whole cart situation and where we got it. He keeps pushing Kess a lot about her deity and her god. We now found out he hid the tear from us. So he, he does a lot of things that rub me, like, rub Daigon, not the wrong way. Mostly just because he's been very critical of Kess and... I guess Kess is the only real friend I've ever had. I'm like, don't. What'd you say about my fucking best friend? What'd you say? Like, I'm just 
ready to like <laughs> to talk shit. him sometimes in that way, and I don't like it. Oh, I want like, to see Diagon like, and Dagon fight. If I had hair, it would like be standing up sometimes and those things, and like that cat, like like that the cat angry noises. But then also he said something. The episode I wasn't there. Um, he said and I wrote. He would love to, his main thing is he wants to look for something no one has found before, is like one of the things that just kind of like drives him ultimate goal. And that directly ties in, because Daigon's looking for something that in theory exists, but no mm -hmm. one's ever found. And so it's like, I see, I, I see commonality and I have things in common to you, but you also need to stop asking my friends so many questions. Cause I, I'm worried it's not, and it's not like, a, oh, cause I'm curious, get to know you. I think it's cause you're trying to like, and also, and it's like, so you're gonna be all, ask all these questions and be all, oh, Cass is shady. But then you, how long have you had this gem that you didn't tell us that sets people on fire? But not well, only two, only That's only not one weird session. At all. To be fair. Like, <laughs> no, like, I don't know that though. For all we know, like, we don't know how long. Well, I guess he said he got. Uh, no, I think he told us he found it in the temple. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Either way, it's like I. That's the party member I'm the most confused because like Brooks seems chill because brooks tries to be inclusive and that's all like i want like brooks uh, offered to dance with Diagon. brooks buys Diagon drinks brooks still interacts with me fairly normal even though i don't talk and like i see that he makes an effort and i appreciate that and then Jax, i also just feel a bit uh ironically after kiss Jax is probably the party member that Diagon likes the most or is closest to one because she still feels like i owe you a life debt i haven't repaid because when she went unconscious, <laughs> then was doing death saves, and your spider dude saved her. Little but then also the dude. fact that I know it was kind of by accident, but because you weren't there, the session I wasn't there, it just feels like we're kind of the most outsider. Like the other four mm -hmm. talk a lot more and are getting closer, and we're the most on the outs outskirts mm -hmm. of this party. So just the whole out the misfit bond kind of yeah. going. And, and and then Daigon and Laura when you mentioned the dancing and the wife thing, just to collect the pang to the heart. Yeah, just like, dude, I wanted to bring I wanted to bring now, that up. And now Daigon I wanted feels to bring that up because so cool. Yeah, that was the first time like anything uh -huh. regarding Jax's past came up, and uh, it, it was a yeah. I was really hoping it, was, it wouldn't. It was I was really just trying to stay so quiet. Sad. I was trying to ignore that whole thing. <laughs> you know. I was like, oh, you know, I'll let them have their moment. I'm going to hold this back. This is something that, like, it's something that I, like, kind of, like, decided on a while back, too. Like, it's not like mm -hmm. I just thought of it on the spot. And then I, came I was going like, to say, oh, my question fuck. was, was that something, like, a random fact you had noted? Or did that just, in the moment, come out because it felt right for the, like, it felt like that history you've been building in your head for... So, I had a couple, and this is, like, a more recent thing, I would say, between campaigns. Um, but I was like, okay, I need a couple things that, like would be like triggers or things to talk about like talking points of his life and that was just like one of the things i was like oh dancing that's like a pretty common thing right and then i tied that in mm -hmm. you know i just didn't expect it to yeah i think because i think it was syrian right all. that asked you to a dance that kind of procs that response yeah i think it was syrian mm -hmm. yeah dude syrian, then, uh, syrian's a cutie yeah that ass syrian's Killed dope me. i like her yeah <clears throat> Should I? Yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was just like the first time, like 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 Jax's backstory kind of came up. Like, okay, the party now knows that, you know, he once had a wife. Yeah. Because of the way you put it, was like, like that was that, that was me and my wife's reaction. thing. So yeah, you imply there that she's no longer yeah, okay. you're either no longer married or she's dead. I'm curious yeah. to see how right? Brooks. So like, it. so like that is yeah. something yeah. like that the entire party now like knows like oh shit. Or, yeah, Brooks was the only previous one to know that I was married at all. Um, yeah. Um, and I'm cur I'm curious to see how that's gonna and turn out. Conversation. Dude, Siren felt really session. bad. <laughs> she was like, "Oh, dude, I killed the whole mute. Everybody just like died inside. Like you could just see it in the call. Everyone just goes like, we all we all just like." <sighs> I wanted to ask you guys <laughs> regarding Siren because one of the uh, crit that criticism, one of the points that that Duke brought yes, up after brought, campaign one was over, was like. There weren't very many like long-term DM NPCs that really like traveled with the party. Like we've had uh, Pricknell who showed up every once in a while. We've had Elephantir who who like, was like a recurring. But we never we haven't really like I don't know. It, it Duke felt like that there could be more. So that's how I was like okay I'm gonna throw Siren in there. Uh, give that give be that the first, first one. one. I was yeah. kind of wondering how because as a DM. When I play NPCs, I'm I'm scared that I might like over, because I have all this knowledge of what's to come. You know what I mean? 
like they yeah. come up. How are you? Yeah. Like, are you feeling like like how that, just how is your experience with that so far? Like having a character, uh, an NPC, travel with you, uh, and just like you know me RPing with you as that character as well as being the DM. I I like it because she's also prompted some of those more like backstory social like party getting to know each other discussions in the first place like other than the Jax's wife moment even like the chat she had with brooks uh on the watches the chat whenever she was like on night watch with someone with and Lazarin, the chat she right? was having yeah lazarin there but it doesn't feel like the i'm a dm and i'm forcing this to happen because i know and i know it's like it still feels very natural and organic and she clearly and it makes sense because her whole thing is i need to learn to, to adapt to mm -hmm. various other people's ways of cultures and communication because I want to become this diplomat figure between or this like cultural ambassador figure right so it makes sense she's trying to just be a sponge for knowledge and soak up as much as she can <laughs> yeah so what even totally says works. in chat as well is that you know because she's a character that doesn't know fuck all about like the city life like she helped you she had knowledge about the jungle and and how to you know how to approach the whole Seth Ka situation but that's where her knowledge ends the second you left the jungle and entered like you know new Daramuth is where her like knowledge of everything ends and she's the one that requires knowledge and requires guidance and it's a really I mean, it's like easy we, way we had, like, for me to you know have an npc right. build up a story arc for herself accompanying the party mm -hmm. without fearing of metaing because searing doesn't know shit about the you know the settled world so to say <clears throat> I mean, it's just like if you captured like an expert from like anywhere, like if we captured like a Thieves Guild, mm -hmm. you know, person or whatever, mm -hmm. and then interrogated them for knowledge, like, you know, they're gonna know a lot about certain things, but that's because that's who they are. That's where their world has been. She has been a one yeah. for for you know forever. That's her life. Mm -hmm. Of course, she's gonna know everything about that in the jungle mm -hmm. around her. You I know? also just enjoy props to Siren for being like. Oh, I only kind of barely know these people. I'll get naked. In the that was a, she was she like that. She hesitated. <laughs> about, I, I rolled for her eventually to be like, okay, is she <laughs> confident enough to do that? And she was. So she was like, wait, you, oh, dude, I love. I was that like, I was like, okay, I'm like not sure because I kept in my mind like, okay, like you know, like among her tribe and shit, like communal bathing is pretty normal. But she, but I also at the same time I was like, okay, would she be comfortable to do that with a bunch of strangers? You know that she's never you know what i mean yeah in a in a she's that she's never, never been, been to. to like this entire like yeah. bathing like this is a new concept to her so i just rolled and i was like okay odds and evens odd number she doesn't even number she does and <clears throat> you know i have to say i was really surprised no one's like questioned jacks about not going to the bathhouse I just figure some people are more modest. Some people, I would never question, aside from the fact that I <laughs> physically can't, I would never question it because, like, I had that big debate the first time it ever came up, and I was like, oh, because one of the big cruxes of the journey I want Dagon to go on is her whole um, not accepting her, her body, and the hairlessness is a metaphor for Laura's own body image thing she's dealing with right now. And so I was like, would she want to, like, expose it? But you know what? To her, it doesn't matter because you can already see, like, the hairlessness you can't hide mm -hmm. unless she literally walks around head to toe wrapped up. So it's like, I'm as vulnerable as I'm going to be literally all the time. I walk around anytime I catch a reflection, like, I already hate what I look like all the time. Being naked doesn't change that because that's that, like, genitalia is not what I'm concerned about. Mm -hmm. It's my entire body that upsets yeah. me, basically. So I was like, nah, fuck it. She would just go in there. And I also came up was when the whole thing with, like, the, 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 prostitutes and like that one and and stuff i was like she also is not a prude mm -hmm. in any way shape or form she's not very much like oh like body parts and like and like lewd things don't like very but part of it's also because daigon thinks she's asexual right now and daigon's like so i don't care because i feel no of none of those impulses if mm -hmm. you do that's great yeah the thing the thing with Siren is care. as well is like I've, I've written down some like you know based on the past like couple sessions what her like thoughts are of each individual party member and um uh, I, I just enjoy I, I enjoy having a character to play in the campaign that like I mean for all we know depending on you know how it goes and what what will happen over time uh, it could very well become like a, a vital part of of the the political system in Eldilon you know being like a like an emissary almost uh, an, an assassinator or or that uh, did you say assassinator. <laughs> Wouldn't you just be an assassin? 
<laughs> I can I can I can multi-class, bro. Dude, All right. Give me three levels. Isn't a thing. No, he's mean the the etymology of the word. It's yeah, right? like you not are an assassinator. Assassin. <laughs> it, that's, you're not an assassinator. No, you can assassinate someone. Yeah. Yeah, so but you that's are the an verb, assassin. But the, no, an the noun is an right? assassin. Oh, okay, fair no, enough. No, I'm an assassinator. Got it, <laughs> <laughs> Got it yeah. dude. <laughs> <laughs> it it sounds sound cooler, cooler, okay? If you add OR to anything, it sounds like, what better. What kind of word is assassin anyway? Ass, ass in. Like, oh. who the fuck called that? Ethan! Dude, Ethan, they, how they dare just, you? They got the oh, answer. Ethan put in the what chat is vile. That's assassin so to kill Tramio, I will that. literally make rocks fall. That's when we all become Dude, a literally no, no, no. evil alliance party. What if party we make right Tramio, there. or what if we make Zirin our own personal assassin to prove to move our agenda forward? See, at least less evil. <laughs> or maybe you just, you know, I mean, uh, I don't know, I don't know about help people. her do what she wants to do. <laughs> like, because we've already no. promised to help you know, her. Um, <laughs> the, uh, Lazarus did. Uh, Jackson well, seriously, what does Siren think of the party members? Um, I can give you a quick, like, yeah, sure. Um, Daigon. Oh, oh, can I touch up something like, real quick? Daigon one to two sentences per. confuses her. And she has, because she's talked to Brooks on a night watch about things that she wanted to ask Daigon, but doesn't really feel like it's her place to ask. You know, mainly regarding the like, she's seen the throat scar. She's like, can I ask? Can I not? And like, she she likes Daigon, and she kind of definitely feels like, you know, that like that like oh, you know, just just girls being girls kind of vibe with with Kess and Daigon, especially after that like like that bathhouse moment. But she's a little hesitant still <laughs> regarding Daigon because I don't know, she doesn't want to like. She, well, it's kind of like in the real world when like, you see someone with a big and ass like, car or something. She's it's like, rude to ask. It'll come up. And then I'll chime in, but she doesn't want to be the one bringing it up. You know what I mean? <laughs> never coming up because everybody's too uh, awkward. Jax, to she thinks is uh, just you know, just a sweet old man, really. It's like she sees Jax as as very <gasps> smart, um, like intelligent, wise. Mm. She's she herself is very wise, so like she definitely like she's like Jax is intelligent and she respects that. She also feels like she could learn a lot from Jax, just from a from a from a culture kind of kind of kind of approach just like because 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 Jax himself he is, is old, guy. He old and experienced and has lived in you know this plane for for a while like he, he she feels like he could he could teach her a lot um brooks she thinks is very fun to be around you know like has um has that like same Kind of attitude that she has, which is very much like a, ah, you know, fuck it, what like that fuck it kind of attitude. Whenever it's like life's, life's too short, short. <laughs> let's have some fun, and that's like her main priority besides, um, you know, politi the political stuff is like she wants to have fun. She wants to know what normal people do for fun, and she feels like Brooks could show her that because he himself is also like a very fun, love fun loving, you know, drinking. Having a laugh, kind of, kind of guy. Uh, Davian, yeah, she fucks with a lot because uh, they share interests. They, they, they share, um, uh, you know, a love for being in the wild. They, they share a love for exploring the jungles and the wild and, and that sort of thing. So that she feels very, um, I don't know. She feels like in the, the in Davian, she has like somewhat found someone like herself in a way. Um, Kess boggles her mind a little bit with her, you know, because she feels like Kess has lived in this world and, and Kess, but like the fact that Kess plays dumb a lot, she's she's like, that's not really her. She kind of pierces through that a little bit. She's like, oh, why is she acting like she's stupid? Um, she is. <clears throat> was that everyone? Oh, no, Elazarin. Uh, she thinks Elazarin is a fucking cutie. <laughs> <laughs> What's well, funny because oh, really? Koiba the chat said Elazarin has a crush on her. <laughs> Koiba, that's your chance. She thinks Elazarin is a insider. fucking cutie oh, dude, you and, can fuck uh, <laughs> is looking forward to him, like, showing her around the, the religious district and teaching her things. Oh, yeah, show him around. Mm. Oh, yeah, oh my god, they're gonna, they're gonna go on a date. They're gonna go on a date. Uh, that's it, really. Oh, like, she, she doesn't really have anything negative to say about any of you, really. She's, she's, she fucks with you all. And yeah. It's true. Give, give it time. time. Um, <laughs> What's funny, you mentioned that she also, think one of the things about Jax is she feels like she can learn from him, because it's also the last episode 
whole like Daigon sitting in their tent and watching because she heard him mm -hmm. like making something. Because in before she left her tribe, she tried to like I will learn every skill that I can to try and make myself as useful as I can because maybe they'll keep me around, kind of thing. So her main thing was like weaving and sewing, but she learned like tanning. She learned some building mm -hmm. of the way they made their like she learned tried to learn like everything a little bit for the whole jack of all trades, yeah. master of none. But that that attitude still hasn't quite left her. So it was like this seems intriguing. This is another skill maybe one day I would like to have. So I I get that vibe of like I want to learn from people and being wanting to stick around. Um like Do you have any questions like you too about like just the campaign so far of last session or anything like how things could have gone or just any any questions in general? I mean and nothing really happened too much last session. No, last right? session was mainly just like a party bonding kind of, nice, kind of session, which, nice which I predict next session to be party as well, because next session is also going to be a bunch of traveling, so. Session. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Was I there a timer I... on, like, us getting to the Hydra um... in time? Um... Like, if we had, like, gotten delayed for two days because of something, right? Say you... Mm, yes and no. It was more along the lines of not necessarily Sekfa, but reaching Sethka was an important factor. If you would have not reached Sethka at the time that you had, uh, but like later, it could very well be that that town would not have, would not have existed anymore and would have already been like attacked by by <gasps> Oh, that would have been so. So sad. they would have yeah. attacked the people yeah, that absolutely. are like supporting. <laughs> I guess because they're yeah, the they traders, still see them as traders. Because a lot of people in Sethka used so... to live and work with people yeah. of Sekta, and then when the war started brewing, they were like, "Oh yeah. no, no thanks. We like hanging out with the new people from New Dermoth and all that shit." So they would have, they would have yeah. been the first on their yeah. list. They would have fucking gone through, gone Aww. like just wiped Sethka to the fucking floor, and then progressed like towards New Dermoth, then Southwold, then Eldilon. Exactly. No. Damn. So less a question, but again, just more of another observation. I also find it just very interesting and fun to play because in the last campaign, and then even in the campaign we did that was not streamed, just traditionally, my the way I make characters and the way Soko makes characters, we almost always like clash with yeah. two people in the party. It's like we're working together because of the greater group, not because we. I think partially that is also together. so. It's really because nice. OOC, that you guys are very opposite so in like, in like you know. Yeah attitude and beliefs and, how we and, and that sort and like of thing so we... like i feel like that's also definitely part of that yeah <laughs> yeah so it's really cool this time that's so far like other than like said after kess Jax is the party member that daigon would like want to stick around the most right now that daigon would probably like support in, in like an argument if it came down to like half the group want to do one thing half want to do another uh like things like that so i i just am enjoying that change i think it's cool to see where it goes it's kind of odd. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> well, it's just because, like, Naronk and Trim kind of clashed for most of the campaign. Morwen and Trim had a better relationship, yeah. but it still wasn't, like, great. And Kisera and Naronk did not get along. And Kisera and Naronk had no shot of ever being <laughs> no. alone. Like, we tolerated each no. other. <laughs> it, it was a tolerated friendship. Yeah, it was, you're here because the rest of the group <clears throat> likes you, and I like the rest yeah. of the group, so, like, I guess we'll work yeah. together. And I feel like we need each other for whatever we're trying to do. That's about as far as our relationship <laughs> okay, goes. <fair> yeah. <laughs> um, no, it, it is really cool, and I think uh, Daigon and Jax will definitely get to have a uh, well, one-sided conversation um, about some things. <laughs> and I'm really excited to see how that goes. And where that goes to. I mean, to. you know, when, if and when Daikon yeah, applies like paper and fucking pens and shit, you can just like, you know, whenever you want to talk, you write, write the answer down. That would make it, it makes it yeah. a lot easier for her to communicate with the party as a whole, I think, instead of, you know, banking on Kess to translate everything for her. True. Yeah, I was say, dude, I, I, Jax wonders how much Kess is actually fucking with us. Real talk. Like, I, it genuinely I, is like, I can't trust that she's actually saying what Daikon <laughs> thinks because Daikon will sometimes say yes or no. But it's not yeah. always, she doesn't always give a reaction. So I, yeah, you don't know if she really yeah. cares. <laughs> yeah. But um, they, they, I was also just very proud. Both like Daigon and Laura just had like a bit of a smug, like, I did it moment when, when I was having that mini conversation with Davian and I managed to convey the message of, 
yeah, we'll help you do this favor you want, but we need to go to Southfold first because we owe someone mm -hmm. else a favor, like da da da. And obviously, all the in intricacies of that didn't he, he didn't pick up, but without words, just managed to be like, I need to go to Southfold first. If you come with us there, mm -hmm. we'll help you later. And like conveying that without words felt good. It was cool. Yeah. Okay. Fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. I just, dude, I, feel I love party gotta as say, a whole right now, it is a as a DM very fun to see. Almost everybody, I have to say, I'd say everybody, to see everybody play a completely different personality than they played in the last campaign. I feel like Gen, Gen compared, Gen what compared what I mean, to Dan, completely like a, a, a very different person. Um, Gen was very open about everything, and Davin has its intricacies and his secrets, and it just still likes to talk a lot. But I think that's just you know Duke liking to role play and wanting to. Talk and be active. Well, and Gen was also just yeah, more absolutely. showboaty because that comes with being a, a fucking bard, bard and a, so. a tiefling, yeah. uh, a tiefling yeah. uh, fucking or at least he impersonated uh, a famous bard, as, well. as we found out. Uh, comparing yeah. Jax to any of Sogo's characters last campaign, complete different person, complete different <laughs> personality. Uh, Daigon, yeah, I mean, compared to Trim, similar polar more, opposites, think, but... definitely some personality wise, some some similarities to Gisaren, but because. I feel like Daigon is way more in like the concern was intricate. Don't get me don't get me wrong, but I feel like Daigon's backstory and and um, I don't know it's com it's complexer. Like where because funnily enough both had like some some prison slash criminal kind of you know that that, that same tone, but. Oh, yeah. Whereas Kusarin was very straightforward, like... Although with Daigans, it's false Yeah, exactly. Whereas Kusarin was, oh, it I used to be a criminal, <laughs> changing my life for the better, yeah, and I wanted to redeem myself. <laughs> Daigan, because of the fact that she, you know, without saying too much, she, she got accused of something, got punished. Mm -hmm. um, I, was saying, I think we know about that. Punishment didn't go the way it should have gone. Um, her, like, I don't know, just, just it's it, there's a lot of layers to Daigan's backstory. When it comes to that, whereas Kassarin's was pretty straightforward, you know, in comparison. Well, also, Kassarin made it clear from the get go of this is what I want, and you can help me achieve it, or I I don't care. Daigon, no one knows, not even like only Kess really knows, like what Daigon wants. Because everyone else is just like, I'm here. It's like, okay, that's what happened to you. It's like, what are you going for? Like, what are you going after? What are you doing? Are you just like to anyone else? It's like, I'm kind of just scraping by and just like taking it day by day, which I am in many ways but there is some underlying things that she is mm -hmm. searching for <laughs> and no one else is really knows what that is and it's yeah. kind of gonna be interesting um, when it comes out fucking Kess compared to Octanus is completely fucking different that, that is it's oh uh, yeah same like dickhead but in a completely different way and and so much more like bubbly and Playing stupid, whereas Actanas was just intimidating bitch. You know what I mean? Like to, to the to the to the overall populace. And it's a lot less. They happy. both have like a childlike. <laughs> yeah. Curiosity. I feel like they. But in different Kes ways. Says that. In Actanas, it was like a childlike side, just because she never got to have a, a childhood, and she just wanted to like yes. to have that. Whereas Kess, it's more just like that the curiosity and the the zest and just the like. Even when things go bad, it's like yeah, they'll I, be I better think, uh, again eventually. Like, Actanas, the optimism that Kess has, Actanas Actanas had, had that like none. child, like like rebel in in her, whereas Kess yeah. has that like child like wonder and and, and stuff uh, mm -hmm. about her. Um, yeah. you know, Lazarin, Lazarin and Nakul. I mean, do we need, need I say more? Like, it's good, like, completely <laughs> different fucking people. Uh, Brooks and Bran. It's polar opposites personality wise whereas Bran was this like goody two shoes oh, Duke yeah. thanks so much for the host man appreciate you whereas Bran was this like goody two shoes Bran did not uh, know how to ex cleric have fun at all. but still like <laughs> super lawful ex military cleric and all that shit Brooks is a fucking twat <laughs> degenerate uh, in the best way like a twat in the best way possible but a fucking twat nonetheless um but yeah, it's it's really cool to see just that like like those like I'd like to see that everybody is playing a different character, uh, personality wise. It's very cool. And as far as the party dynamic dynamic goes, we've already kind of brought it up a little bit here and there. Um, 
Who do you think will clash first? Like with each other. I mean, I'm still waiting for either a Jax, a Lazarin for one of their, so far, mostly like tense but friendly discussions about religion and deity so eventually just like one of them like Jax will take it too far without realizing basically it go, it'll go beyond like we're having a debate about religion to being like I'm now insulting part of you like the core of you as a person just because it's so at least to, from the outside it seems so interlinked to um the uh a Lazarin's like sense mm -hmm. of self kind of thing or um Again, maybe eventually. Right now, it's never gone far enough to really prompt an a, a altercation, particularly because I can't... The only way I can do an altercation is with my fists. But if <laughs> if Davian does keep... If the whole Davian constantly questioning Kess and seeming not to trust... Or implying that Kess is endangering them or that Kess is... Like just just that, the, that whole dynamic, if that continues, she might eventually do the... That's my best friend. Dude, I, I'm like, still. I'm waiting uh, for <laughs> Kess and the Lazarin to actually have like a fucking because Kess and the Lazarin have have have, have bumped heads minorly yeah, the past uh, few sessions, and I, I, I it's gonna get to. I feel like Davin and Jax could potentially also yeah. clash. So basically, anyone at any time. We're all like fair we're all enough, good friends, enough. but we're also a powder cake. Duke thinks Kess Waiting. and Brooks are gonna butt heads. <laughs> yeah. No. I don't, that's the thing is like I feel like Kess just doesn't really like most of the party. Mm. <laughs> At least that's how it like feels. Like I don't know necessarily whether she does or doesn't, but it like she definitely puts off like a hostile vibe a lot of the time. Like oh dude, I I can't talk. And about I don't know this if that's Bell just doing that on purpose to fuck with us or not. But <laughs> I know. I know. The last like part of last session where first Bell had to meet had to or Bell had like a one on one and then Duke. So that's gonna. That's, uh, next week's gonna. That's gonna. That's gonna be interesting. That that's might be the altercation. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> that might be the the clash you're thinking of. Maybe depending on how they choose to tell us about whatever mm. happened and whatever, whatever they were told and how we interpret it, because we don't know. But who knows? Maybe whatever they say is gonna provoke. Who knows? I was like, the, the first clash might come in the form of. Again, when we're when, once we've done, we've brought the heads and we've sh told um, Tranlia, mm -hmm. like, hey, we did the thing, the where to go next. Because again, like, Daigon and Davian had yeah. that little, like, I want to go here, you want to go here, does it matter if we do mine first kind of thing. But that was, like, still hypothetical. It was just, like, early stages. I feel like the other thing, a clash might come when we have to pick our next path. Because after some events in the past two sessions, uh, I'm going to at least impress to Kess, and I think Kess is on the same page as me, that we have some business in Southwold that should be done sooner rather than later. I don't know how time-sensitive anyone else's is, but... I mean, I'm, I'm going to try and push for that. things that, that, that him and Davian next. have business in Southwold as well, so yeah. it could go hand in hand. Yeah. yeah, and like, Jax is like, we're passing through there anyways, so like, why the fuck not? You yeah. know what I mean? Obviously, you know, there might be like certain things that he wants while we're doing it but like i don't know it's really nice playing a character that's just kind of like go with the flow that i don't have to just be like no yeah, that's pretty fits jack's doing. backstory i'm not gonna like your backstory is the reason why you I you want to travel and see whole, as many life. places as possible because of you know a, a certain something yeah. that uh happened uh, so, so for, I feel like for I mean, Jax, just like it's his like, whole life too. He's dude, just like if this party it. wants to go to all kinds of different places, I'm down because that means that I can continue, you know, that thing. Yeah, you know, it's just all on the you know slowly yeah, gathering exactly. the information. And, you know, I'll make an educated decision out of it. It's really nice playing an intelligent character, even <laughs> when you're not intelligent. Um, so go. Everyone so far has done uh -huh. trivia. Hey. Hello, oh, we really don't need Duke. to, you know? I'm tied for first just place say that I lose. with uh, five out of seven. Yeah, baby. Followed by Ethan with four, if I'm not mistaken. Then yes. Koiba with two, and Bell really with really a donut. A do it's your turn. You're the last one, caught, and then bro. we'll have our, our official leaderboard. I think if it ends up... You know, you, 
I know it won't count, but that's I'm fine, still writing fine. answers to the questions because I'm a nerd. I'm not gonna get. I'm well not gonna get all seven right. Soka, what we're gonna do is the format okay, you here is to get all seven. you're gonna open up a little document file or whatever, like a word pa word file or whatever, or notepad or open your DMs. DMs, yeah. I'm gonna ask you seven questions. You're gonna write the answer down like of each question. Send it to me via the DM, and we're gonna we're gonna see how how well you did. Yeah. Any questions, comments, concerns? Uh, Fuck yourself. Uh, All right. Uh, I'm. I missed. I, I missed kept sessions. that in mind. I kept I that in mind with the, the forming the questions for you. Yeah, I think you'll only ask. No, I know. I'm just present. saying. First one, no one should, should be anything. relatively easy. Okay. What class is Siren? I mean, okay, technically, I I one of the questions on my week related to mm -hmm. campaign mm -hmm. one, so you know that that's also a possibility. To be honest, I don't actually know. But what I'm is the name yes of the employee of the friendly giant that Elazarin spent the night with? Oh, fuck. Oh, I can't goodness. remember which one he did it with. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. I'm going to get flamed for this if I get it wrong. Don't look in the chat. No one's posted anything there yet. Okay. No I don't have chat open right now. I, I minimized everything. <clears throat> um, Because I feel like it was like pleasure or it was like... I feel like we pushed him towards pleasure. Like, I, I feel like that's what it was. But I'm not 100% and I'm scared. Okay. I'm dead. Mm, okay. I'm going to go with this. Okay. Question number three. Uh, How many one t did the party fight in the underground temple in session one? So <laughs> fuck. Oh, that's okay. Okay, wait, underground session, temple. We went to follow, like, down the well. I'm trying to think of, like, which... Yeah, I know. I know, but like we fought in like three different temples now. Yeah. Even while I've been here. Um. I'm guessing. I don't know that one. I'm making a. Wait, wait, wait. Are we counting like the whole like the whole collective or just like the, the last collective. room? How many you want T did you fight? The whole okay. temple. Okay. I got it. This is a question oh, that Laura knows the answer to. Changing. So shush. What oh, was okay. the prize oh, okay. Diagon won in the Goblin Boss <laughs> game? Oh! <laughs> it came up, like, last session. That's technically a trick question. Hmm? The prize I mm -hmm. won, I gave away, and the prize I now carry was not won by me. Let me rephrase. Okay, what prize it. does Diagon carry around from the Goblin Tulls game? Okay, there you go. <laughs> Wait. Okay, I, I, I hope it's this one. Okay. That's the only thing I remember about it, so... It came up last right. session. That's why I figured I'd throw it in there. <clears throat> yeah. Who was... I don't remember that coming up. The I'll be honest. ...the champion of the WrestleArm tournaments. Yeah, before... Like before... Uh, this festival. Before he Brooks. faced... Uh, he faced Brooks. If I remember correctly. He faced one of the party members. I think it was Brooks. Oh, fuck. I don't remember his name. I'll be real. I, I know the uh, name I'm writing is wrong, but it's one of the names I remember. I remember they didn't win, but I might as well write something. Yeah. Okay. What race is the owner oh, of the Weeping Mud Tavern? Go ahead. Oh, I thought you were going to say Friendly Giant. I was really hoping you were going to say Friendly Giant, because obviously <laughs> that one's in the name. Weeping Mud. I should really know that one. I'm glad this isn't my <laughs> week. <laughs> I already answered Weeping that. Weeping Mud. I remember if that was the human, or... Weeping Mug's not the one that we stayed in with Brooks. The That's Weeping the Mug is where you right? initially stayed in the trade district, but then you staying. moved yourself down to, to Brooks and the Friendly Giant. Yeah. Weeping Mug is the one where, uh, yeah, right. where Daigon and uh, Kess stayed. And Kess was there. Alright, seven. What is the pink algae used for? I'm ready. I know that. That one I know. Alright. Um, yeah, all right. just DM me your That's answer all. sheet, and we'll have a little look-see. I did. Okay. They're already in there. Do, I said them one by bad. one. <laughs> All right. Let's have a look, Seam. Because I'm an asshole. Uh, I'll send... I don't... I'm, this isn't canon. I'll send you mine, too, just so... Let's have a look. <sighs> what class is Technically, Syrian? Technically, again, mine's out of six. Ranger. One question. Correct. Ranger? Oh, thank God. I was, I was worried she's going to be a druid for a second. What is the name of the employee of the friendly giant that the last one spent the night with? <laughs> Pleasure. Correct. How many Thank you want to fight yeah. in the temple in session one? Seven. Three Damn, fuck, I thought it was nine. Three normal you want to and one priest. 
I wrote five. I wrote five. I thought it was That's four up. brood guards, four regular guys, and then one priest. I mean, I'll double check for you, but I'm pretty sure. Okay. I, I, cause I, my memory is sure flawed. Three, could be a different three, one, one. Thought, but I thought that's what it was. Let's have a look, see here. Hmm. Let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. Do you guys know that we have a wiki? Just world envelope. Oh, oh, actually, we do have a world envelope. Eight. Yeah, it was four. Oh, really? Oh, was eight. One, two, oh, and the priest. Okay. Eight, so we're both wrong. Sorry, I misremembered. Right, I thought well, it was three and one. I still one. got it wrong, so. Uh, but that's wrong, no, regardless. Good. So. Uh, hmm. I mean, you got it wrong, though, too, no. though. So, like, that should what be like a half. What's the prize that I can carry? Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, fuck. Me. I fucked up the que that I fucked up his question. It's the fucked so up I'm, goblin uh, beanbag, right? What did what did Daigon win? The fucked up goblin beanbag, which I'm pretty sure is tr correct, right? And because yeah, I'll, yeah. Give you that, I'll give you that point. She won the like, I, meant, she won, like, I was, the plush I was implying the meerkat that she carries around, like the stuffed meerkat. Or is it? It's a meerkat, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I, then, yeah, Daigon didn't win that uh, herself, so I'll, I'll give you this one because the initial question that I asked you have correct here. I was saying, I, I thought I thought yeah, it was just yeah. so one, and I was like, no, that's so far. True. Thank God, I already beat Koiba. <laughs> uh, what there was you the name go. of the reigning champion of the WrestleArm tournament? Come is not correct. Oh. Uh, he was called, or is called, <laughs> Jorin the Dragon Slayer. Yeah, there's oh, no way right. I remember that. See, I wrote Turvy, because <laughs> I remember Topsy and Turvy. But yeah, I don't see, Topsy and Turvy, I remember. But, like, the yeah. I did not remember his name at all. Human. Human? Correct. Damn what is the pink God, algae dude. used for healing potions? That means you have one, two, three, four, five correct. Fuck Time me, for first dude. Time to Dick and Laura. Yeah. So we have three winners of this, like, first round of, of, of I'm trivia, a fucking loser. I guess. So now what we need is an episode where all three of us are on Dungeon just decide Discourse, the real just winner. to force someone to make a new overlay, and then yeah. we have a final chat. Maybe. Maybe. Honestly, I, I'm i kind of mad, because I was like, oh, I'm going to do some shit, well. and then well. I actually did pretty... Solid. Very good, very well done, uh, Soko. Proud of you, bud. Uh, thank you for paying attention during the sessions that you are here. Thanks. Much appreciated. Um, I, I did. I mean, like I said, D&D &D gets me through the week. I don't want to miss next out on it. Next game, I'm going to announce here. Yeah. Over the next three Dungeon Discourses, I'm going to make sure that I have all three, like, duos on, so that all six different cast members have been on the next three Dungeon Discourses. We're going to play a game where the two guests get to design an NPC. Like race, class, character traits, the whole shebang. Oh. At the end of all three, okay. we're gonna put it up to a vote for the community. The character with the most votes becomes an actual NPC in the campaign somewhere. Oh my god, dude! Wait, do we yeah, have to like, really, like character traits, traits and all that kind of shit too? So maybe minor backstory, like what oh, their yes. job, oh. their occupation, what they. So do. So we're doing this with our session zero partner, oh. or is it just gonna be random? Before, mm -hmm. before we get into that, because kind of ties in, I mentioned I had an idea for two channel point mm -hmm. redemptions we could add. Because you're we trying to come up with ideas, but that wouldn't like dominate gameplay. We could add, still have a pretty high point redeem, but for whoever redeems it, they can name an NPC. Yeah, maybe. So. Uh, like they don't get to design the whole, but just name. They can redeem channel points to name an NPC, and they can redeem channel points to name a location. Not as like a town or a city, because it could be a geographical location. Like it could be a waterfall. Like it's um, it could be, it's yeah, it could be a city. Since you said so much of Agrin, is oh, it? Oh my god! I mean, it's tricky. Like I'll, we'll have to look at how to like properly uh, indicate just that because like naming works differently per class or per race i mean you know what i mean and same with like uh yeah. say yeah i don't know we'll see that's it's a good it's a good shout but we'll have to see how to exactly like word it so that the, uh, it's not too like specific i guess um but yeah so next week uh, i think we're gonna have bell and duke on if the next session is gonna be is, is gonna go the way i predicted it's gonna go that's gonna be some fun little yeah. intrigue for them to discuss and uh, and like i said next week they'll be doing an npc um, the two weeks after, well, uh, another two NPCs will be made, and then at the end of that, we're gonna put it up on the Reddit and on Twitter. You'll have a week to vote, and uh, the winner of that um, poll will be announced on the Dungeon Discourse after that, and we'll be putting the campaign somewhere. Hell yeah! Yeah, I thought it was be it would be like a fun little, a fun little 
a little, a little fun little mini game for y'all. But I think, with that said, if there's nothing else, I'll uh, close off with a light tease for next session, uh, and then we're gonna we're gonna oh. end it here because we're you know we've been talking for about an hour. That's typically the length I like for these. Oh, but we're not making the NPC on like our character on. No, we're starting next Dungeons week. Starting starting next week. No, we are the next time. Yeah. <gasps> starting next week. Yeah, because okay, that's okay. we already yeah, did the mini game for this week. I was just making sure. So that's starting next week. Oh, we'll do okay, we'll do three okay, weeks okay. of NPC I creating. Got you. Yes. Um. I got you. Next week is going to be some traveling uh, from New Daramuth to, I mean, at least Southwold. And then if you guys decide to do some stuff there now, Hope or going north. go claim your bounty or your, your loot first and then go back, that's up to y'all. Um, but I'll say that um, an interesting roadside encounter awaits you. Uh -oh. uh, an intriguing uh -oh. one that's gonna have gonna at least robbed. one of the party members scratch their head a little bit. To rescue. Wait, does this have like character backstory implications? <gasps> I want to solve some puzzles. I want to solve a puzzle. I hate puzzles. That's all you're, I'm, that's I'm all you're, that's all you're getting. That's all you're fucking getting. <laughs> um, but that's next week. Thanks everybody for watching. Laura, so cool. Thanks for being here and uh, being a part of Dungeon Discourse this week. Actually, it's three days um, from now. Um, Vod will be up on, on, on the YouTube on Saturday. Yo. Check out a variety of different podcast uh, platforms where y'all can listen to the audio version of Dungeon Select. We're slowly catching up the podcast platforms with uh, where we're at currently and all that good shit. Uh, are we going to raid? Is that what we just asked? I was just asking because Profane's live. Uh, yeah, I kind of. But... I don't know if we uh, normally we raid him after the Baldur's Gate thing, but we can, we can raid him again. He's the only channel... Oh, okay. I, if, if we've done it recently, then... Yeah, Laura, yeah, pay attention gosh, to all the things dude. that we do. I have my own stream on Mondays, okay? Uh, Laura, your own stream does not dude. take priority over Dungeon gosh. Select. It's one Jesus. of the reasons I had to turn down Baldur's Gate, because... No, that's all good. Um, already I mean, fuck it. We can host. We can, we can raid Profane. Fuck him. Profane's kind of returned to streaming. Daft's back to fuck streaming. Uh, Founders meeting level, level select soon. Yay. You know. It's getting to that time. There's going to be, you know, we're working on. We're, I've also played, uh... Labor is being made towards next iteration of Charity Select. So, level select streamers, level select founders alike, keep your eyes and ears out. Because there might be some. There might be some. There might be some and announcements community soon. Night. There's community night. October eighth. So next Friday. October eighth. Uh, you know, play some games or hang out with the boys or the of course girls. It's work. Or you know, those non-binary. You know, whatever. Whatever. The, whatever the fuck you identify as. Or the homies, you you're all welcome. The peeps. Uh, yeah, Shatter. We're uh, we're working on charity select numero dos. So uh, keep your eyes and ears to the ground, as they say. Say hi to Profane for us, please. He's a homie. You all love him or hate him, but you know, regardless. Or love to hate him. Or love True. to hate him. He's checking out. He's doing a, a randomized Metroid Fusion. Because that's you know, homie. Homie likes his randomizers. Gross. Show him some love. We'll be live here again on Sunday for session eight. I'll be live pretty much right after I end here because I'm playing New World with the boys. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> oh well, then do you want to just host up your? I can't. Own I can't. I can't do that. So like, yeah, it's not possible. Uh, yeah, oh, weird. I guess. Like the, that's, that's uh, yeah. unfortunately not how. Uh, unless I, I would have to have like two instances of OBS open for that to work, and it's not going to happen. Plus, I think if I start streaming, yeah. like, because that means I'll have to stream on two channels at the same time for at least a little bit, and I think my PC might blow up. So. <laughs> oh, just get yeah, a dude, PC I just bought a PS5, it. so go, uh, relax. <laughs> With yeah, mainly no, so, your uh, money, thanks for that, by the way. The, uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> You're the reason I get to play Demon Souls soon, so that's Drunk nice. Me is a good time. To that. Yeah, fuck you. Um, anyway, we're stalling because Profane is still in his uh, starting up scene, but uh, I say fuck it, we're just going to throw the raid over there. Oh, is that what we're doing? I, I mean, that too. Yeah. Dumb. Uh, I mean that too. But... They're not mutually exclusive. But uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for hanging. This will be up on YouTube on Saturday. <laughs> See you Sunday for session eight. It's gonna be a fun one. Bye bye. Woo.